we have different characteristics of localized problems. But our challenges are very national. There's no solution to the challenges of the Mdigo without a solution to the challenge of a vulnerable Mkikuyu. There is no ethnic solution to national challenges. And that we just have to nuance our solutions in a way that looks to the specific challenges in our place without thinking that you can target and isolate a region or a community to deal with their problems separately. I uh, have also been mentioning two very important things to me. One, that we as a country are going through a very difficult time. The acute impact of the COVID pandemic, particularly on the virtual closure of the hospitality industry, the hotel industry, uh, conference tourism, international travel, and auxiliary services. But secondly, in the just shrinking of the economy because of reduced working hours and disrupted supply networks. Third, the very dramatic decline of international investment flows into most developing countries, but acutely clearly also into Kenya. In the face of a rising public debt, means that we are walking into a space with acute economic challenges coming up. And it's a responsibility of the next government to show solidarity with the most vulnerable among us. We have a collective responsibility to mobilize all citizens of capacity and goodwill that we have to address ourselves to the pain of the most vulnerable in the country. But secondly also, that you cannot turn around Kenya without having custom-made policies to build enterprise Kenya. Now, I say this clearly because there are some people who are doing the politics of opposition between the rich and the poor. There is no way you can create new livelihood and hope for the poor without unlocking the power of the rich. The responsibility of the state is to enable enterprise, but use tax from enterprise to cushion the most vulnerable among us. So that's an important message I've been saying. Third, as Kenya's competitiveness declines, even in regional terms, we must start addressing what is making made in Kenya expensive. And one of the most important challenges to us is the monster called corruption. You cannot build Kenya better without slaying the monster of corruption. And there is no such a thing as fighting corruption bottom up. Corruption must be fought top bottom the heads that have to roll to demonstrate a conscious, purposeful war against corruption have to be top dog, not the, the little 50 shillings uh, extorter at a government desk you know, in, in, in the ministries. So this is important. But that we also have to say, we want to fight corruption, but we don't want to be vindictive. We are not going to be stuck to the past. We are going to look to the future and make the next phase of Kenyan public engagement strong and, and focused. And lastly, for the last 58 years, the Kenyan economy has been a servant of Kenyan politics. It is time for us to now say Kenyan politics should be a servant of the Kenyan economy. You know, um, this is not the first time that I've been asked if uh, I am somebody's project. And uh, the first reaction I had is uh, I resigned from a very prestigious international job to come back to Kenya and offer myself to Kenyans as a candidate for president. Um, I cannot understand what, uh, how massive the, the inducement by whoever wanted me to be a project will be for me to, 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 to make that decision. But more importantly, I actually accept that I, I, I can be treated as a, a project. I'm a project of all those Kenyans who firmly believe in their minds, in their bodies, in their souls, that Kenya is not limited. The Kenyans who believe that our national problems cannot find solution in ethnic politics. The Kenyans who believe that we have a capacity, God given to us, to rise above the pettiness of corruption. Kenyans who believe that single-mindedly we are capable of turning our country around, not to compete with Somalia, but to be in the ranks of Thailand. All those citizens, patriots, who believe that way, who think that way, 
I'm ready to offer myself as their project. I I meet Rail a lot. But I I never I, I never explain to people every time I meet people. The day before yesterday, uh, Peter Munya was in my house for four hours. I did not have to justify the fact that he was visiting me. Tomorrow I'm going to spend my evening at Kivuda Kibwana's house. Uh, those of us who have been part of the second liberation, those of us who have a sense that Kenya can, those of us who believe that the national contest for leadership cannot be surrendered to a contest between factions of YK92, have to start looking, exploring ways of a shared direction of travel. And I'm uh, shameless in my commitment to find those who are ready to walk that direction with me. Lazima wazalendo tutaftane. Sasa tuwezi kuogopa kutaftana.